Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have used these leftover pieces of fabric to create a drawstring bag. These are great as toiletry bags or holding travel essentials. They would also make a great gift bag for small gifts that may be awkward to wrap. So let's get into it. For this project, I used the plain blue fabric to make the drawstring, but you could always use elastic or cord instead. I used the check fabric for the body of the bag. First, taking the checked fabric, I folded this in half. Then, from the folded edge at the bottom, I measured and marked a piece that was 8.5 inches long and 6.5 inches wide. I then cut this out. This is how it looked unfolded. Next, with the wrong side of the fabric facing up, I folded the short ends of the fabric over one and a half inches and pinned this in place. I then sewed where I'd pinned. This made a small tunnel that the drawstring will go through. This is how it looked. I then folded this in half, right sides together, and pinned along both sides, up to the folded edge I had just sewn. Once everything was pinned in place, I sewed where I'd pinned, making sure to leave the tunnel open. This is how it looked. I then turned this inside out so it was now the right way round. Next, I needed to make the drawstring. I measured around the top of the bag to see how long the drawstring needed to be. I added an inch onto each side as the drawstring would be knotted and I wanted to make sure I had enough fabric. My measurement was 16 inches. Taking the blue fabric, I measured and marked out two pieces that were 16 inches long and two inches wide. I then cut these out. This is how they looked. Taking one piece, I folded this in half, right sides together, and pinned along the long edge. I then repeated this on the other piece. Once everything was pinned in place, I sewed where I'd pinned. This is how they looked once they were sewn. I then sewed one of the ends closed on each piece. This would give the drawstring a neater finish once it was turned the right way round. I turned these inside out so they were now the right way round. I used a safety pin to help me do this. I then closed the open ends of the drawstrings by folding the edges in and sewing across the ends, again giving them a neater finish. I now needed to attach the drawstrings to the bag. Taking one piece, I attached a safety pin to one end and fed it through one of the tunnels I created. I then fed this same piece through the tunnel on the other side of the bag. This is how it looked. I then did the same with the second drawstring, but this time started on the other side of the bag. This is how it looked. I then tied the ends of the drawstrings together on each side of the bag. Once I'd done that, the bag was complete and this is how it looked. I was really pleased with how this turned out and the measurements for these bags can be adjusted to make them as big or as small as you like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.